If you've seen any of my videos of late, you know that I believe that we are entering into uh, the digital revolution 3.0, and as a result of artificial intelligence, machine learning, quantum computing, all the things that are coming in the future, our internet isn't going to be able to handle the capacity that it's going to be drawn on it, and it's going to have to be rebuilt. And the first areas that are going to have to be rebuilt are our data centers. And as a result, there are some stocks that are going to just grow dr dramatically as they are contracted to totally rebuild the uh, Internet as we know it today. It's going to take about five years, but in the next six months, eight months, 12 months, there are going to be some stocks that are going to get some big checks for come update our data centers because this thing's coming too fast. So what I decided I needed to do was combine my intelligence and artificial intelligence and create a way that I can analyze a stock based upon its past history, its current performance, and its future projections to come up with what is the price of this stock going to be on December the 31st, 2024. And that's what I've done. And I want to take you to my computer. I'm going to look at four stocks, and I'm going to tell you why I I think that the price that I have come up with and what I think it will be and how I came to that conclusion. Let's go to the computer. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. This is where I analyze stocks to try to give me a better idea as to what the price of the stock that I'm looking at is going to be on December 31st, 2024. And I use past history to give me a view as to how they've performed and what trends they've set and what I might be able to expect in the future. Let me use NVIDIA as my example uh, for what I think the price is going to be on December 3rd, 31st, 2024. The first thing I look at is income, and we'll concentrate on this side of the chart from uh, 2013 through 24. What was their generated income? And as I said, any business, its goal is to generate income. But we also need to look at the movement of revenues. You have to have increasing revenues if you're going to increase your profits unless all you do is increase your prices. I then look at how that those two things uh, affected their stock price and did it go up or did it go down? Uh, and this is the brown line. I then look at earnings per share. How did earnings per share relate to income revenues and stock performance. I look at gross margins and net margins. I also look at the leveraged cash flow. Are they, are they generating cash and having it left over? Then what I do is take these numbers and project them against future anticipated earnings. Where do I get this? I search the internet. Um, I look for what management says they believe their earnings or their income is going to be in 24, 25, 26, and 27, what their corresponding revenue is going to be in those years, and what they anticipate their earnings per share will be. These groups, this, these three numbers give me then a look at what the price is going to be in the future relative to the performance in the past. And let's just look at NVIDIA. And as you just noticed, the price has just changed because this is connected through the internet and gives me a, a continuing update. So let's look at what, what their management has said, that they made uh, 
$1.8 billion in income last year, and that's going to grow by 300% in 2024 to $19 billion, then 24, then 31, then 42. So we're relying on uh, management's ability to predict what, in fact, is going to happen. They also give us a, a growth number on uh, revenue. They're anticipating their revenue is going to grow by 65%. Then look at this one. This is where we really want to focus. This is earnings per share. This is basically what you, as a shareholder, a one shareholder, your share of the earnings would be if, in fact, they distributed them. $1.93 in 2023, up from $1.76 in 2022. But it is, they expect their earnings in 2024 per share to be $7.77. That is why this stock is up as much as it is this year, because of that anticipated earnings. The other thing you need to look at is their P.E. ratio is at that price uh, is... 213. That's outrageous. That's 10 times what many stocks are. But they're anticipating tremendous growth, not only next year, but in the years to come. As you can see, uh, earnings per share going to 984, 1256, 1711. So management believes this, this company is going to grow tremendously. So then what I do is I say, okay, I'm going to digest all these numbers. This is their current price. And I'm going to say, are these numbers in line for um, what I think is going to happen next? One, first, The first decision I made was I do not believe it can continue to support a 213 PE ratio. So as I said here, I'm bringing the P.E. ratio down to 90. I then take that 90 and multiply it times uh, the earnings per share, and I come up with what I believe the stock price will be December um, the 31st, 20, um, 2024. So I'm anticipating, whereas they've had a increase in, in uh, price of stock 140% thus far this year in 2023, it will grow from this point to this point, $699 by 20, uh, December 31st, 2023. These numbers are uh, the price relative to revenue. And what I'm looking at is I don't want to see a huge increase as it, it's um, a fraction 159. Here it's the same fraction 163. I've done the same thing price relative to income. And I'm trying to make sure, in fact, as you can see, I brought it down substantially from here uh, to here to there. And I'm keeping it in line as I project out. And then these are the prices for 25, 26, and 27. So I've built this template that gives me a some way of measuring what the future price of Nvidia is going to be. Then I was I decided I wanted to look at some stocks that I don't have in my portfolio, such as um, uh, Intest uh, uh, Corporation ticker I N T T, um, and they have had thus far. Uh, some some good growth numbers. They're up 137 percent this year, and uh, their their earnings are or their income is up 25 percent. Their revenue is up 10 percent. But here again, these are people who are involved in the rebuild of the infrastructure of the internet, and so the market is rewarding them nicely. Their P/E ratio currently is 21.69. I'm saying I'm going to give them an increase in P.E. ratio uh, to 25.5 because I think that's more in line with the industry that they find themselves in. So current price is 24.94. 
by December 31st, 2024, I believe that price is going to be $32.64. And again, that's based on their prediction that their um, earnings per share are going to grow from uh, $1.53 or 15 cents uh, to $1.28. Now, you're also going to see here that they've anticipated that they're going down in 2025. So this is something I've got to continue to watch if I decide that this 31% qualifies it to go this and now into the bus 13 portfolio. Now, this is another stock that I currently hold in the portfolio. Uh, no, this is another stock that I do not have in the portfolio, um, Arista Networks. Again, one of the companies that's going to be building out the new uh, data systems uh, aware, uh, that we have currently. Their stock currently is uh, up 23% this year. Um, they're projecting an increase in income of 31%, an increase in revenues of 11%. So again, their current price is uh, uh, $151 based on a PE ratio, which basically stays the same of 30.25. Currently, it's 30.72. Uh, I'm anticipating this price will because their earning or their uh, earnings per share are going up from uh, $4.92 to $6.48 I'm anticipating a 30% increase in the price be between now and December the 31st of the year and then this is the price I'm projecting in uh, and from there I also then wanted to look to one of my favorite stocks. I just did a video where I explained that uh, NVIDIA is partnering with uh, Super Macro Computer, and I think there is some real potential here. They are substantially up this year, 379% uh, a price from $45 uh, in the December the 31st, 2022 to current day up to $218 or a growth rate of, uh, of $379. Now you can see here, they aren't anticipating the massive growth in the earnings per share that uh, NVIDIA is. Here they're saying they're going to go from uh, 1088 to 1177 um, and then from then in 2025, a substantial increase to $17. This is a stock that I own and I want to continue to own. So, but I'm only anticipating uh, in this first year an 18%. Uh, again, I think I might be conservative on this because I believe that if in fact this build out in this rebuild of data centers goes as I believe it is, this number may be very conservative. Again, I assigned its current PE is 20 um, and I'm assigning it 21.8 and that justifies this number of $256.80. So that's how I analyze stocks. I have another website that I go to on a daily basis that gives me an insight of who stocks Stock prices are moving dramatically um, this week, la um, last month, uh, the last six months, year to date, so that I can and see the companies that are being recognized by the market and by investors as those who are going to participate heavily in the the, the growth re resulting from artificial intelligence and then in the future machine learning. This is the area that I'm going to focus on at this point because I honestly believe that this is the best opportunity I'm going to have to become a billionaire. Uh, I've done well in the stock market in the past because I've paid attention. I'm focusing now on what I think is the big change, the, the build out right now of the uh, data centers that 
that's going to be followed by the, the explosion of the use of data and how it's going to interact on our lives. That's going to take a little, a, a little bit longer. But right now, the opportunity is here. I just shared four stocks with you. This is going to put my bus 13 up from 19 stocks now. I'm probably going to add one or two more from this analysis and some other analysis I'm doing. If you want to have access to my bus 13 portfolio and the analysis work that I'm doing on a regular basis and sharing through our Discord, go to the link in the description. It's to our Patreon. Uh, as I said, I said to my wife, you know, uh, I'll share these stocks with people. I don't care. Um, I, I spend seven hours a day uh, working on it and pursuing it. If they want to do the same thing, that's fine. Uh, but on the other hand, if they'd like me to do all the work uh, and, and I give them a seat on the bus for $20 a month, I think that's a pretty good deal. I'm not a a charging them a percentage of their portfolio um, and then a percentage of the growth like a hedge fund does, but I think I'm giving the same quality of information. So if you want to be a part of it, go to the description, come to the PA Patreon, pledge your $20 a month, and we're, we'll ride this thing uh, because I think, as I said, I've done well in the stock market over the last 20, 30, 40 years. I think I'm going to do much better over the next three years. Talk to you more about this as I gather more artificial and human intelligence. Music